What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and my build studio. So I've been playing around with 3D printers for several months now, and just recently I expanded that hobby to include laser engraving. And the main reason for that is because they're pretty much hobbies that go hand in hand. You'll probably notice in some of my future videos that I'm gonna be using laser engravers to etch logos into my 3D prints or even use the laser engravers to cut my 3D prints. Now about a month ago, I reached out to a company named Two Trees because they had a laser engraving enclosure that I was interested in. They responded and they said that they had a brand new laser engraver that they wanted to partner with me on to review and asked if I was interested. And as you can see, they ended up sending me a care package with a number of different boxes. Now, I think one of these boxes, this middle one I believe, has their all new TTS-20 Pro 20 Watt laser engraver in it. I think the other box, which I think is the bottom box, has their laser engraver PVC enclosure dust box, which is the thing that I was actually asking them about. Then there's also this third little box that they included on the top, which I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but overall, I'm excited to unbox, share, and review all of the things in all of these boxes with you on this video. Anyways, stay tuned and we'll check all of these things out to see what they've got. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, Two Trees did reach out and ask if I was interested in collaborating with them to review some of their products. Now, I think one of the products is something that I was interested in, which is their PVC enclosure, which is basically a laser engraver enclosure to keep all the dust from flying around. The second is their all new TTS 20 Pro 20 Watt laser engraver, which I'm always excited to test out new products. The third box, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but let's go ahead and start by unboxing these to see what they all include. Okay, we'll start with the small package first uh, because it's on the top and it's probably the easiest to unbox. Okay, so it looks like it's a box full of materials that you can laser engrave and cut on. So these look like just metal or aluminum cards of assorted colors, which is pretty cool. I can think of a lot of uses for these. The first thing comes to mind are some metallic business cards, which would be pretty cool. So definitely something that I can use. It's got a number of different assorted size blocks. Uh, which can be used for different things. So those are pretty nice. Looks like stamp pieces, some little cube blocks. We've got some acrylic. We've got, what are these? Looks like little plastic cardstock paper. A photo frame. Look like dog tags, but they, yeah, they are the little uh, dog name tags, uh, which is pretty cool. You can use those for my puppies. We've got little wooden uh, name plates, sticks, assorted different types of paper, coloring paper, cardboard, wood of assorted sizes, and then what is this? Rubber mats. So all kinds of different materials that you can laser engrave or cut, laser cut on. Just like an overall package of accessories. So this is going to be coming in handy, I think, you know, especially if I want to create some merch or some type of giveaways for you, my viewers. Now, if they are sending me that accessory pack, that means this laser has the ability to engrave and cut on a number of different surfaces and different materials, which is something that's pretty cool and I'm excited to try out. Okay. okay, and then I am gonna guess the way this is packaged that, oh, so this, I guess I would, might, would, would have been wrong. So this is the enclosure, it looks like. So this is the pamphlet for the enclosure. So it's made completely of PVC and some plastic material, so now I'm excited about this because lately, anytime I wanna do some kind of engraving, I have to go outside just because I don't have anything that will contain all the dust and particles that comes up when you're doing laser engraving or laser cutting. So I'm glad that they sent this to me because then I'll be able to test this out with the enclosure here in the studio where there's not much ventilation um, so that I can direct the airflow from within the enclosure out towards the window 
and I won't have to worry about fire alarms going off, smoke and dust and all of that stuff. So I'm excited to put this thing together and see how well it works. Uh, this is what I was actually interested in and what I initially reached out to Two Trees about. So I'm glad they did send this to me. So we'll go ahead and unbox this separately and put it together. Okay, so that means this huge box is their all new TTS 20 Pro 20 watt laser engraver. So I'm also excited about this because it never hurts to be unboxing new technology, especially when it comes to laser engraving. Okay, so as you can see inside the box itself are all the components and accessories for the laser engraver. So we've got our instruction manual and product manual, which does also include some uh, materials inside that you can laser engrave or laser cut. You get goggles, and I think pretty much all laser engravers come with these protective goggles uh, because lasers do get bright and it can hurt your eyesight. This looks like a USB cable to connect to your PC, and then a air tube power adapter. This is the laser module itself, which is pretty small. So this is a small little laser module. We'll take a look at that a little later when we've got everything else unboxed. This is the, looks like it's a air assist. Uh, so this just improves the accuracy of your laser, makes it more powerful and more concentrated. So I'm glad they actually sent me this thing uh, because not all laser engravers come with this, but it does greatly improve the quality of your laser engravings and your cutting. Got your power cable, another AC adapter. So I think the smaller AC adapter was for the air assist module. This looks like it's, I'm not sure what this is. It's some module on there with a fan, but it's got a cool little logo on it. Uh, but you know, we'll, looks like it's attached to whatever the bottom piece is. So I have to take this out separately. You've got your screws, your various screws, bolts, and little rubber pads. You've got an assortment of zip ties and tools. So these. This looks a little complicated to unbox. But this is the Y axis or the Z axis, one of those. Then you've got your laser engraving and cutting plate. And I think that's about it. I think that is everything that is in here. Let's just double check and make sure we've got everything. Okay, so that is actually the entire laser engraver itself. It's not a Z axis or anything like that. It is a super lightweight laser, that's for sure. Okay, so this is by far the thinnest and lightest laser engraving machine I have seen on the market so far. It is super tiny and very, very lightweight. I am pretty amazed and in shock. I expected that this would be a lot bigger and a lot thicker and a lot heavier like some of the previous laser engravers that I unboxed on this channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble this and see what it looks like all assembled. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the product manual. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna assume this is the front because that's where the controller is. And the way to set that up, M3. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and assemble this based on the instructions and then we'll come back and start testing this thing out.
install and that needs to be installed here Okay, so I guess you just want to test to make sure that the cable can move and extend all the way. Set the laser engraving height. Okay, all the cables were pre-connected, so that's not something I had to worry about. Just need to make sure I'm tightening all these timing belts. Okay, so now that we've got the laser engraver set up, we are now going to install it using Lightburn. Lightburn is my preferred piece of software when it comes to laser engraving. Now, the package does come with a USB key and a SD card with the profile for the um, TTS-20 laser engraver on it. So we can extract that. And then of course you will need to connect this laser engraver to your PC using the USB cable that came with it. So we'll go ahead and plug this in here and we'll plug this into the PC. Now it does have a network jack on it so I'm not sure if this is networkable or if it has wireless but that's something that we should probably figure out. We're also going to want to make sure we plug this thing in so that it has power. Then the other AC adapter, of course, is to plug the air assist module into the wall and to get power as well. Okay, so now that we've got everything plugged in, uh, we will power this laser engraver on. And it's a pretty loud laser engraver. But we will go ahead and add it. Let's go select our devices, find my laser, and allow it to detect the device that's plugged into the USB port. Okay, and if it doesn't detect it, we will import and we'll pull it from the SD card itself, and then it'll show up in there. Okay, so right there. 
and then it'll be ready. So let's home the laser. Okay, so now that we've got the laser engraver set up and we've got it installed in light burn, we're gonna go ahead and position it in the center here. So let's go ahead, we opened, went ahead and opened the Two Trees logo uh, as an engraving test file. And let's go ahead and frame this. We'll home it first. Okay, so now that we've got the laser engraver positioned, we've got our uh, logo that we want to engrave. Let's go ahead and frame it to make sure that there's enough space, which there should be. So as you can see, it is framing the space where the print is gonna happen or that. So as you can see, it is framing the location where the engraving will occur. And there's plenty of space there. So, um, all we need to do is now add a piece of material for it to engrave on. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a break and set up the enclosure that the... But before we do the actual engraving, let's go ahead and set up the enclosure that Two Trees also sent us. Okay guys, so I went ahead and unboxed all the components for the enclosure. So as you can see, they're all right here. And I know we've got limited space because we've already got the laser engraver assembled, but we're gonna assemble the enclosure right here and see what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so most of the parts, or at least the metal frames, are labeled 3, 7, 1, 5, 6, 4, 2. And then you've got the plexiglass PVC parts right here. So let us take a look at the instruction manual and start putting this thing together. And I like that this enclosure comes with this cool, neat little looking screwdriver. Just look at this little stubby screwdriver. It's pretty neat. Huh. Also comes with a ratchet wrench as well as your Allen wrenches. And you'll want to be careful because these parts are pretty small. If they drop on the floor, it's hard to find them. Okay, there's one. Okay, number one, two. Okay, so these instructions are just a little bit difficult to follow. So this might have been the front columns. Yeah, so these are the front columns. So this is what I should have just assembled. So first is the number two. Okay, so these instructions are just a little bit confusing. The pictures aren't that adequate for me to be able to figure this out. Oh, okay, I see. Only one of these was supposed to go in here. Okay, so now we're gonna do this side. So that one's done. Now we are going to take the rear column, number four, and the two quadrature connectors. Okay, rear column, so number four. One part step five, top rear end. The only one not labeled, number six, I guess. Oh, six is here. Okay, so number eight, we need part four. Okay, so now I'm probably just winging this and guessing which parts are correct. Yeah, and you should not drop these little screws because they don't give you extras. And I've dropped many of them. It's just lucky I've found them all. Okay, so we've got the frame all set up. Now we need to put in the parts. I have two extra bars that I'm not sure I know what to do with. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. 
as we go. Okay, so we've got the front and the back. Front plate is 12, PP plate sideboard. Okay, so these are the two number eights, which are identical. Two embedded handles, so we have three of those. Okay, so that's one side, then we'll do the other side. This is some high quality, I mean, it's plastic, but it feels very high quality. Okay, so both of these sides are done. Now we're gonna mount it on this thing. So these holes should all line up. Okay, so it does this way. Okay, so we got one side on, now to put the other side on. Lesson learned this time, let's make sure all the holes line up. Okay, so now we've got the both sides on, both handle sides. And this thing takes a lot of work. It's a lot more difficult to assemble the cover than it is the actual laser engraver. Okay, so we need components to top beam profile. Okay, so now we've got that installed. The crossbar is up here at the top. Okay, so now is the backboard. Okay, so we'll just take this off of here for now. We'll assemble this backboard. So that, the label on the fan faces the self-locking nut. So that, I guess. Okay, so M, where are all my screws? Okay, the 35 should be the longest one. I guess that's number 15. Okay, so if it faces, then it should be this way. Okay, so there we go. That is now installed. Okay, and then we put that on the back end. Okay, so I'm gonna install this back end off camera. Okay, so we actually did finish assembling the enclosure. However, come to find the enclosure is actually too small for this new laser engraver. So I'm gonna have to use this and test it out on one of my future unboxings uh, because I do have another laser engraver that I am gonna unbox, which I think will fit this enclosure. Now I will say that the enclosure is made up of some high quality material and assembly was probably the most complicated part of it, but once assembled, it is very durable and a very high quality enclosure. Now I will say when you are screwing down the acrylic, you need to be careful and just screw it just enough so that there's some resistance, but not too tightly because it will crack the acrylic so just FYI when you're doing that installation. Now, I guess what we'll do is we'll just do a small test. I mean, we're still indoors and there is, of course, uh, the fire alarms. So I'm not gonna do a test engraving on wood, especially because it's just nighttime right now. And we're gonna engrave one of these little cards to see how good the quality is and just how well this laser just engraves. And then tomorrow we will do a larger test on wood to see how well this machine cuts and engraves on wood. So let's go and I've already set up a card on the, the bed already. Um, we've already framed it so I know it'll fit within the parameters of the card and I've already sized the image as well. Okay, so like I mentioned, we are going to frame. And as you can see, the engraving is within the parameters of the card. We've already made sure it's the right distance. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click start and we are going to do the engraving of this image that we have right here on the screen of the Two Trees logo. And again, it's very important that when you are doing engraving, you do wear the protective goggles because the laser is super bright. This engraver can carve and engrave on wood, plastic, paper, leather, sponge paper, and just a number of different other types of materials. Okay, so it's done. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and power it down and see how it turned out. Okay, so as you can see, it did bend the metal while it was engraving. However, it did turn out very nicely. So the logo is super clean, super clear, and very sharp. So an amazing job on this little 
thin slip of metal. So the laser itself did do an amazing job on this little sliver of aluminum. And because there is dust and oxidation on it from the laser itself, you can wipe it down. And as you can see, it looks even better. So very clean lines, very straight, and just a high quality job. And it's also very fast at that as well. I mean, this is a small image, but it did engrave this thing pretty fast. Okay guys, so we're now in my garage where we have temporarily set up the laser engraver so we can test it out thoroughly. So today what we're going to do is we are going to do an engraving and cutting test with the laser using one of the test cards that I downloaded off the internet. So today in this test, now that we are in a well ventilated area, is use that test card to not only test how well this thing engraves, but also how well this thing carves and cuts materials as well. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is of course get some material that we can run this test on. So it's a good thing that Two Trees did provide a number of different materials for us to test out. So what we have here is a three millimeter piece of wood that we are not only gonna engrave in, but also try to cut using the laser engraver. So we're gonna put it on the cutting surface and then we need to level the laser. So we're just gonna loosen the bolt, move it over and then use the spacer so that we have the right height from the cutting surface, and then tighten the bolt. I'm gonna take that out and just move the laser. We can just leave it in the center, actually. Okay, and now that we've leveled it, we're gonna go ahead and power the laser engraver on. And because we want some accuracy, we are also gonna turn on the air assist, which is a lot quieter compared to the actual laser itself. But now we're gonna go over to the computer and select our test file that we're going to print or cut. Sorry, I'm used to 3D printing. Uh, so we're going to use a material test card that I downloaded off the internet. And we're just going to center this on the light burn software itself and then we're going to frame it. Okay, so now that we've got the material set up where we want to cut it, uh, we'll go ahead and frame this to make sure that the image or the file that we're trying to cut and engrave fits on the cutting surface itself. So we'll go ahead and click frame. And it looks like it's uh, gonna fit on the material itself. So what we'll go ahead next and do is just click start and run the file. Let's quickly go over some of the specs for this TTS-20 Pro Laser Engraver from Two Trees. Now on this particular model, you get a 20 watt laser that has built-in compressed spot technology. That enables an engraving speed of up to 500 millimeters per second, and that also means you can engrave about 30,000 millimeters per minute. It's got a lightweight and probably the thinnest frame that I've seen to date, and it arrives pretty much fully assembled. It's also got an aluminum black and blue aluminum frame with injection molded parts. Now the machine itself measures about 695 by 620 by 125 millimeters with an engravable space of 418 by 418 millimeters. Okay, so looks like the laser engraver is done. Um, now I will say that when I started this, I didn't check the settings and the laser was only cutting and engraving at 12% power. So that's why it's lighter than expected in some areas. But I think overall it's very accurate, very smooth. I mean, there's some slight burning, but that's to be expected, especially when you're carving on wood. Um, so let's see what this looks like. Now, and also because it's set to 12% power, it didn't cut completely through the board as well, but you can see that it did somewhat cut through the board. So overall, I think it did a pretty good job. I'm gonna try this again, but I'm gonna set this thing to 100% power to see how well that turns out. So unfortunately, I did lose some of the footage that I did record when I did that second attempt using the laser engraver. However, as you can see from the footage, the second attempt did turn out a lot better when I used and turned the power of the laser up to 100%. In addition to that, I did also increase the power on the air assist which made the cuts a lot cleaner as well. So you see less of those burn marks. 
Now overall, I will say that this 20 watt laser engraver from Two Trees is definitely something that works very well. I love the fact that it is very lightweight and very minimal when it comes to design and build quality. In fact, setting it up and using the laser engraver itself was probably one of the most easiest experience that I've had so far. Now, if you are in the market for a laser engraver that's more powerful than 20 watts, Two Trees does have additional laser modules that you can upgrade to on their website. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I plan to play with this laser engraver a little bit more and definitely will be using it for future projects. If you want one of these for yourself, I will leave my referral link in the description section below and I'll also include any discount codes that I might have on hand. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the video and even what you think about the laser engraver. Please also make sure you ring that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Until next time, see ya.